Cool. Alright, um, hello everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm a little nervous here. My name's Keon Lyon. Um, this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'll be doing prologue in chapter 1% for you today. I've only done this once before, so um, I figured it was the right time to do it in this marathon. Whoop. No, that was a false start, actually. Let me just... Um, yeah, see, this is the kind of embarrassing stuff that maybe I should have thought about beforehand. Let me just... Welp. Quick fix. I'll make sure OBS is capturing that right. Okay. So this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. <laughs> okay. Let's get set up here. Um, yeah, so a little nervous, but here we go. Thanks for the good luck, guys. So this is a quite a long visual novel, and if um, if somebody doesn't know me, I, I kind of do visual novels a lot. It's not a very common thing to speedrun, but I find they're actually really fun. Um, this is a, a visual novel with some cool little games in it and a little bit of a, a RPG a stats mechanic things like that, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So the prologue is basically a whole bunch of exposition, and now we're here. So, we really just have to examine a couple things in this room. Oh, come on. Yeah, um, so I'm very, very new at this game. So, if um, it looks like I'm going very slow, it's because I am. So now we get to meet the rest of the characters, and the basis is we're basically trapped in this school. So let's meet the other people. Each one of these people has a different ultimate ability that the, the, they're the best in Japan at. Um, yeah. It kind of plays into things later on, but not really in this speedrun. If we were doing full game percent, then it would definitely play in a lot more. Um, if anybody hasn't played the Danganronpa games, I super uh, recommend them. They're really fun. And uh, there is a small community of people that speedrun them, but there could obviously always be more. Even besides speedrunning, this is a cool set of games. Um, they are partially voice acted as well. So you get a little bit of um, voice acting as well. It's not just your standard visual novel. And there is another element that makes it a not so standard visual novel that we'll get to see at the end of chapter one. So, yeah. How long is the full game? The speedrun is just over four hours long. Um, 
prologue in chapter one is about 50 minutes. And I chose to do prologue in chapter one because number one, it's the only run I've actually completed thus far. And number two, because I feel like it gives a really nice uh, intro to the game, to the mechanics, and uh, shows it off a little bit. Oh jeez, I just realized I forgot to post in the um, in the Danganronpa speedrun Discord that I was playing this on stream. <sighs> oh well. Well, my time is pretty good so far, so yeah. If we're underestimate, I should say, if we're underestimate here, then it's a PB for me, basically. Okay, so besides the 15 students here, we got this mysterious figure who is supposed to be some kind of mastermind. Yeah, 15 characters. How are you going to remember all their names? Here we go. So a little more exposition and everybody goes to the gym. So let's go to the gym too. So this is the guy who's keeping us here, his Monokuma. He is a stuffed bear. He's kind of weird. Gotta say, even in this game, most of the characters are pretty weird, but he's really weird. So he basically describes the rules to the game to us, um, which is we all spend the rest of our lives here unless somebody can kill another one of their fellow students and get away with it. And um, these 15 people, including us and Monokuma, are the only people in the school, so. Yeah, it's either spend the rest of your lives here or kill one of your fellow students and not get caught. If you get caught, then you die. And now we're in chapter one. Yeah, I really enjoy this game. I played it casually and as soon as I was like halfway through it I was like I want to speed run this it's so fun <clears throat> So 
So we got punched in the face right there, so we're gonna wake up in our dormitory. So we're gonna click on some stuff. Just get rid of these story triggers for a little bit. Oh, bad. What am I missing here? Oh, right. <laughs> That's what I'm missing. Great. Hup. Okay, so Sayaka is one of the other characters here, and we're kind of quick friends with her. So, let's go meet everybody. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory is... Uh, sleeping, sorry, <laughs> sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory is uh, forbidden and is a violation of school rules, basically. So if you violate, violate the school rules, then Monokuma will kill you. Um. All right, okay. Like I said, I'm super new at this game. I thought it was fitting for this marathon because it's um, kind of impromptu and... Yeah. Alright. So, introduction to the purple words thing. It's basically the only time we see it in this prologue chapter one run, but still important. Break a rule and you get punished, but yeah, Monokuma punishment is it. Nope, come on. There. Yeah, you're right, Binya. There's a lot of exposition in this chapter one, if you uh, hadn't caught on to that. So how about this marathon, guys? Can you believe that we're past the 80 hour mark already? Like, holy cow. Less than 16 hours until GDQ starts. We're still going. This is incredible. Shoutouts to everybody who's uh, organizing this. This is this is crazy. I'm glad to uh, be a part of it. So Monokuma comes and visits us, and he tells us something super important about our door.
and now it's nighttime, so we fall asleep. Fifteen left exactly. Holy cow. That's great. Wrong button. If you see the camera panning down, it's because I'm holding down a very specific set of buttons in order to skip past all the dialogue and the animations. So Control c and Shift-S is what I'm basically holding down to skip all of this. But uh, S also pans the camera down, so when it's out of text, then it automatically does that. All right, so we've got that sword here now. Oh. Going the wrong way, going the wrong way. Casually, casually going the wrong way. So we're gonna spend some time with Sayaka. There's some kind of um, uh, spending time with people to learn different skills things. So we're going to learn our first skill here, which is Melodious Voice. Uh, what is this again? Crane. Yeah. So, another day has passed, and it's morning again, and now we got some more free time. So we're going to go talk to another character, which is Leon. No, I want to... Thank you. Leon's over here, so we're going to go talk to him. And we're going to learn another skill. I can't remember actually what the uh, name of that skill is right now. Um, it conveniently does not skip dialogue choices, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to be really quick about that. It's just it stops everything when that happens. All right, so we're gonna sleep the rest of the day. And now it's nighttime. Another one of those weird Monokuma dream sequences. And we're up. Okay, so now somebody comes to our door before we leave. So let's talk to Taka. OK, 
Okay, so everybody's a little worried about a certain murderous fiend, it looks like, so we're going to talk to them about that for a little bit. Because everybody is still pretty nervous that they might be killed. And Monokuma comes up to give us a little more info and exposition. <clears throat> That's basically what he does. He's the kind of foil for the characters here. The goal of this game is to survive. That's basically it. Where am I going? Here. Yes. Goodness. <laughs> that was some misclick. Okay, so Monokuma is giving each of us a different DVD to play in order to motivate us to kill one of our fellow students. Yeah, don't die and leave the school. So this is our motivation, basically. That's our family. And then that's what remains of our house. So look for the answer after graduation is the whole hook of get out of here and remember what happened to your loved ones or figure out what happened to your loved ones. So everybody gets one of these and that's a little bit of motivation. So Sayaka, our fast friend, runs off, so we have to go figure out what's going on with her. I'm going the wrong way again! Look at this, guys. Look at this. So. She's pretty spooked out, so. We're going to try and calm her down a little bit. And she seems like she's a little bit uh, relieved, but uh, then Monokuma comes in and ruins the moment. Okay. So someone is at the door again. Nighttime is about to start, but Sayaka came in. She's looking pretty bad still. So she's been hearing some strange sounds in her room and wants to, us to switch rooms with her for the night. Murderous bear man can teleport. He's everywhere and nowhere at once sort of thing. So we're trading rooms for the night in case somebody wanted to target her. So we go into Sayaka's room. She's in Makoto's room. So. Now what does everybody do once they get into a girl's room for the first time? They look in the garbage. And they try and open the bathroom. So. We sleep. <clears throat> we wake up and we're like, okay, nothing happened. Cool, this is great. So 
So everybody's meeting up in the morning, as they usually do, and we notice that a couple people aren't here. So then more people start showing up. Okay, we're still missing some people. Okay. Even the people who are usually late are here. Where's Sayaka? Okay, so we go check on Sayaka in our room. And this is our room. Oh no! And... She's dead! <laughs> I forgot to split there. <laughs> but, okay. We're good. Rip Sayaka, she got stabbed. So now it's up to us to investigate the murder and basically hold a trial now. So if the person who really does the murder is um, caught, then they die. But if they're not caught, they go free and everybody else dies. So a whole bunch of stuff on the line, you know. Sayaka's kind of a weird character anyway. She, um, well, I guess we'll figure out in the class trial whether or not she was good or not, but okay, rip Junko now. Junko is another character that uh, dies really early on. And she's pretty upset about it. In fact, everybody's pretty upset about it. I'd be pretty upset too. But at least we don't have to investigate her murder because Monokuma obviously killed her. So only one murder to investigate. <clears throat> Alright, so Kyoko seems to have a handle on what's going on. I'm not upset at all. <laughs> Okay, Junko's body. She's really dead. She violated the rules by attacking Monokuma. That's why she's dead. Alright, so we get a little bit of a file saying what the particulars were for the murder, but it doesn't really help us that that much. It's just basically a file that you would get if you were a crime scene investigator. Like, it took place at this time, in this place, so now we have to investigate all of these things. Come on. Where else do I... maybe Mondo. Oh, 
Uh, right. I remember this. Gotta check with Kyoko first. <clears throat> Lost a few seconds there from my own stupidity. Nope, didn't want to click on Mondo. This game likes to hide things a little bit. Okay. So now we have to go and investigate the body. Couple particulars. Noting some things, and then we got some weird markings on the wall. One one zero three seven. All right, so we've investigated pretty much all we can here. So let's investigate something else. So it looks like the nameplates on our doors were switched. But who would do that? Where am I going now? In here. So there's one more thing in here that we wanted to see, and that's the DVD that she threw away. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Yeah, the blood is pink in this game. It's a kind of a stylistic choice, but I guess it works. Alright, so this is the trash room. It's got a metal bar here. Monokuma says, there's a thing. Yo, bom dia alone. How's it going, man? All right. So, Hifumi says he has the key cuz he's on trash duty. So, we open this up and do a little bit of investigating. So the incinerator is here. It's on right now, which is weird because Hefumi left it off. Who could have turned it on without opening the door? There's also a blood piece of shirt collar here. I wonder why. There's also a shattered crystal ball here. I wonder why. Still really slow. Goodness. <laughs> All right. So, investigating a couple things, we see that the uh, knife set here is missing a knife. I wonder if that's in any way connected to the murder that was used with a knife. Let's ask. So it looks like t somebody took it in the night time. Okay, so now I am fast traveling to... here.
and let's see what's on Sayaka's DVD. <laughs> yeah, seems unlikely, right? Alright, so all of her people are dead and that's super sad. So right now I can fast travel to the gym, enter gym, one more person we gotta to talk to, and that's Hirotaka, or um, Yasuhiro, sorry, Yasuhiro, not Hirotaka, <sighs> so many names. So it looks like that crystal ball belonged to him, but it was stolen, so we're gonna have to believe him on that so it is now time for the class trial you guys we're gonna find out who killed her A deadly class trial. Okay. Two seconds, sorry. Scrolling down my notes. So we're equipping the two skills we got, Melodious Voice and Robo Jock. And now it's time for the class trial. So this goes around in a circle, everybody says a piece. And we basically gotta click the right thing with the right response in order to um, get rid of any contradictions in the story. And from that, we figure out what really happened. Two, three, four. No, that's wrong. All right. And also, the music is great in this section. If you guys enjoy really nice music, this is it. Two, three. Four. <laughs> yeah, very, very similar to Phoenix Wright, isn't it? There's a couple other mechanics here, so we're going to go over the next one. This is Hangman's Gambit, here. And it plays like a game of Hangman. So we gotta figure out the word from this really easy... Yeah. It's A. It's hair. Now, I understand. now we understand. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, a main point here is that the girls' bathrooms don't lock, or the girls' bathrooms do lock, but the boys' bathrooms don't. The 
two, three, four, five, six. Nope, come on. Oh goodness, I missed it. <laughs> so I gotta go through that all over again. Two, three, four, five, six. There. <laughs> Okay, we're about halfway through. The uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is actually false. When the fighting broke out. All right. Culprit grabbed, and that's when the first broke a sword-based sneak attack. No, it's wrong. Good thing I got that. I was a little worried about that. Okay, so her palms were injured and had yellow dust on them. The water was off during the night time. Sayaka was the one with the sword. Or with the one with the, um, who had made the first attack, rather. <clears throat> okay, really quick one here. One, two, no, that's wrong. Okay, so we're trying to decipher what this 11037 means. It's obviously Leon upside down, you guys, come on. And you just turn it upside down and it's Leon. 11037, she was writing it upside down. It says Leon. Leon killed her. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's wrong. You'd have to divine with it. And the only person who could do that is the ultimate baseball star, who's Leon. All right, so new mechanic. It's time for the closing argument. So we got to put these in order now. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm really bad at this, by the way. I'm not very fast at this at all. Wait, that goes there. That goes there. there. That there. It cleans up. That there. 
that there. And last one is that. So we go through exactly how the crime broke down from the information that we have deduced. And we get this really cool graphic novel type thing. Okay, so we're almost done, but I really do encourage you guys to uh, to to try out this game. It's super fun. It's not very expensive on Steam. It's got great great voice acting. It's got a lot of personality to it. Really, really nice. Um, really, really fun game. We've got one more little sequence here, and I think this is going to be a PB. I hope this is going to be a PB. Holy cow! <laughs> but we still have to do a bullet time battle after this is all done. So this is how the crime went down. And the killer is... You! But he objects and he keeps denying it, so... We've got to shoot down all of his denials, and that is with a bullet time battle. So rhythm game time. Can we get some sour please in the chat? He's like, oh no, I'm caught. <laughs> Loop. This first. So, we all voted and we voted for Leon. And we're right, Leon did kill Sayaka. So, he gets to die now. But instead of watching this really great, well-composed cutscene, I'm going to go faster. You guys are just going to have to find out how cool and well-composed this is. Coming up on time here. Couple seconds. As soon as I hit don't save, then it's time, so. Chapter one, to survive. Clear. Come on. 
to be continued. Yeah, this is a PB for me. And that's it. Um, yeah, so the game continues on from here, but that's all we're going to do for now, guys. Thank you so much for having me on here. Enjoy the rest of the marathon. This has been super fun for me. This is a PB, as I said before. Um, yeah, let's get some love and excitement in the Chatterino. Um, next game here is going to be Super Tax Cart. Thanks for GG's guys.